All right, so number 15, the Verdi is in. Oh, good Lord. This one is just so another, uh, sums up the late 90s here. Another, another one that really angers me. So uh, I remember this one like it was yesterday, unfortunately. I was watching this in Ellensburg. I was still home in Auburn because I was a winner. <laughs> stop. Stop it. Anyway, the date was December 6, 1998. And the Seattle Seahawks are facing the New York Jets. And if the Seahawks can win this game, they have a chance to go to the playoffs. I mean, this is a big deal. But yeah. if you remember this, uh, if you remember this year, this is the year of referee Phil Luckett. And yes. Uh, and Ethan, you remember Phil Luckett, right? Yeah, he's the guy that on the coin toss in the Steeler Lions Thanksgiving Day game, uh, if I'm not mistaken, like mishears like, and you could clearly hear it on yeah. audio. Betta said, tails or heads, whatever he said, and Luckett doesn't hear it and says the opposite. And so they lose the overtime coin toss, if I'm not mistaken. And like Bettis is pissed. And yeah. it's, I mean, it's just, it's Bettis, ridiculous. Bettis is like shocked. He's like literally looking around like, wait a minute, what? Like, yeah, he says, he, uh, Bettis says tails and Luckett says, heads is the call. <laughs> he repeats it, he says it the opposite. And he goes, he calls heads. And Bettis goes, what? He flips his shit. He's like, wait a minute, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? And like, that became a very big controversial moment because didn't the call stand? Yeah. That's just mind blowing. It's insane. But I think that what happened was during this era, they had gotten rid of instant replay because I think they did this for time for the networks because the games they had been running long. So they wanted to make sure that these games stayed on track, on schedule, on time, and instant replay had actually been absent from the NFL for years by this point in time. So in all reality, we could probably thank Phil Luckett for the NFL bringing back instant replay. Probably true, yeah. <laughs> because the very next week, Phil Luckett and his crew, they were assigned to the Seahawks game at Giant Stadium versus the Jets. Now, this game actually had playoff implications for both teams, the Jets and the Seahawks. So here we are. It's the fourth quarter, and the Seahawks are leading 31 to 26 with just 27 seconds remaining on the clock. It's fourth and goal. It's down to this play, man. The ball is snapped. Vinny Testaverde, he keeps the ball, and he dives in for the touchdown. The Jets are up. They are going to win. And Ernie France calls for the touchdown, and Phil Luckett, he approves it. But the replay shows otherwise. Ugh. I mean, this play is just awful. If you watch this, you can clearly see that Vinny Testaverde's helmet was not even across the, the goal line. No, it's clearly not in. Clearly, it's, but it's, there is no instant replay at this time. No instant replay. Everybody at home is watching this. The uh, announcers lose their mind. Oh, the announcers were pissed. I mean, they were like, wait a minute, what? Like, he's not hes not even close to being in. And that became a big factor in the NFL bringing back instant replay over the offseason. The uh, owners voted to bring it back. So because of Phil Luckett and his team and crew, yeah. Vinny, Vinny Testaverde, we could kind of thank them for bringing back instant replay. So there you go. Phil Luckett and Vinny Testaverde. Look at the man from Nantucket. The he had a dick named Phil Luckett. <laughs> yeah, so good times. Good times. Call his plays in the air. Heads is the call. He said heads, it is a tails. Oh, I hope he said tails. He did. Thank you.